Hey YouTube, Long Post 1975, welcome back to another You Hummit and I'll play it. Now this video's request comes from the game man Dan. I will put a link in the doohickey down below as per normal. He is in my channel list. I absolutely love this guy's channel, one of my favourite channels. Um, I owe Etty 1138 a big debt of gratitude for this because if it wasn't for his series Top 3 Tuesdays, I wouldn't even know who this guy was. And that's why sort of videos like this are important. It's not so much about shouting out an individual. It's about connecting different ends of the community together and saying, like, here's a channel that you really, really need to check out. And it's thanks to Ed that I found the game man Dan. Now, what do I like about his channel? First of all, he's a great, great community player. You know, he's a people co-host his channel. He regularly shouts people out. You know, he does competitions. He does pickups. He does all that good stuff. But there's two series of videos on his channel that I absolutely love. His game hunting videos are just absolutely legendary. <laughs> Mainly because he, th there's so much fun. He's such a good laugh. I mean, he just he just cocks about in, in, in stores. If he can find games, he just has a laugh, uh, usually with his mates. And I just find them, you know, stuff like that is what I like about YouTube. It gives you sort of an insight or reflection on the person's character. And I absolutely love those videos. So we're looking through the records. No luck. Barbara Streisand, wet. I would never want to see Barbara, Str Barbara Streisand wet. It would be disgusting. The other series he does I absolutely love is Nintendo Junkie Saturday. Now he took this series over from Jill Poo 3, although he did Nintendo Junkie Tuesdays. I will link Jill Poo 3 uh, down below as well because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have this great series that Dan does. Now, how do I describe Nintendo Junkie Saturdays? Well, basically, Nintendo is his crank for want of a better descriptive term. It, he just does a video and he injects a great amount of humor because I love stuff like that. Because, you know, not to bash anyone's channel, but some people just sit in front of camera and just go, I bought this, I bought this. <sighs> he's just funny, man, he's just funny. He, he's got characters involved like a too much weed guy. I mean, you come to work late, you eat my pizza, and you're never doing what you're supposed to. And now you've just melted my only NES controller. You know what? You're fired. Get out. Yeah, man, but I mean, I didn't even know. I, I just wanted to play your NES, but you know what? We're letting you play your NES. Oh, sorry. No, nah, man, I don't care. Just get out right now. But, I mean, I didn't... Yeah, my motherfucker. What the hell? You want some more? Hell yeah. I mean, that guy makes me piss my pants. But basically, it's just a community-driven show, and I like stuff like that. He uh, he shows you his pickups from the week, sometimes hardware, uh, more often than not games. Obviously, he's Nintendo-themed. Hence the title. Sorry, that's my bad. <laughs> and um, yeah, and then he, he he asks you to vote on which game you would like him to do a quick review of. And then the following week, he does a quick review of that game. So the winner for last week's quick review was uh, Tech Mobile, one of my favorite football games of all time. Uh, and here's the review. So here it is, guys. Tech Mobile for the NES. Absolutely brilliant. I love stuff like that. You know just to involve, engage your audience. Also, he does do videos outside of gaming about other things he's passionate about, such as music. And I've said this before and I'll say it again, you know, it's your channel, you, what you care about, what you like, what you're passionate about, why not put it on there? So this is my favorite uh, jazz album to date, uh, but it was made in like 19, uh, 1977. Uh, it is a phenomenal album, one of the best jazz albums ever made and it completely revolutionized music as we know it. Anyway, the game he wants me to play is this. Hey Long Boys Post, Game Man Dan here, and my selection is Earthworm Jim. Uh, this game is awesome. Um, it's probably my favorite game in my whole collection. Um, everything about this game is cool. It is classic platforming at its best. Um, great sound effects. It, it's funny, it has great humor to it and everything. Um, and uh, if you can play the Genesis version, that's great. If you can't get, uh, if you can't play the Genesis version, play Super Nintendo version. Just as good. And the Super Nintendo version even has better music, but it's just missing one level. So uh, your choice, but uh, play Earthworm Jim. It's really awesome. Earthworm Jim. 
That's a really cool choice, mate. It's another one of those interesting games that fell into that void between me having sold my um, my, my Mega Drive, having sold my Super Famicom, and having a little bit of period of no consoles, but at the same time, my brother had a Mega Drive, and he had a SNES, so I did get to experience it. And I say experience it, I never played it. I sat at the back room and watched him play it, but I was kind of impressed. So you know what, it'll be very, very interesting to give it a try. Earth on Jim, 1994 by Shiny. I always find it a little bit funny that, you know, he was ashamed that his, his pants fell down in case we could see his uh, robo balls, but he'll happily whip his worm out. That sounded terrible. <laughs> to kill an enemy with no embarrassment, and that means he's technically butt naked. Anyway, the art design in this game is absolutely fantastic. How would I describe it? It's kind of like, I don't know, a, a more childish, watered-down version of Terry uh, Gilliam, right, controls. You'll have to forgive me for being clunky, but I'm playing this with a Wiimote and nunchuck. I, I just can't get my GameCube pad to work, right, so... Jump. Oh. Uh, whip. Up. Uh, looks like the crow from Kiora. Die, you bastard. Right. Oh, that's my health. Uh, right. Oh my god, oh. Uh, oh no, that's what I'm talking about, I remember that. Music's brilliant, and the, the graphics are absolutely superb. Probably gonna go on record and say I think this is the best looking Mega Drive game I've ever played. Ooh, cheeky. Ah! Although I guess, you know, it, it, it's difficult to compare it to a game like sort of virtual racing, but you know what I mean. 2D sprite based platformer. Absolutely fantastic. Look at it, it's warped, it's so warped, it's awesome. Ooh, cheeky. Nope, I'm struggling with these controls. Game, not the game's fault, the, the controls are really tight. It's just this Wiimote and Nunchuck aren't made for platformers. Look at it, see, it is, it's Monty Python. Right. Nice, <laughs> cow launched. How often do you get to hear that? Oh, so those little atom looking things are uh, health then. Right, oh. So I got, can I get over there? Yes, it's kind of got a Prince of Persia mechanic. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Oh, oh fuck. So yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm waffling. So it's got kind of multiple, you know, routes for the level. That's cool. I remember this being sort of a, well, I guess the, the phrase cultural phenomenon might be a bit strong, but you know, there were there were all kinds of sort of merchandise and that gun's epic. Oh, I've got ammo, shit. Yeah, and merchandise. And wasn't there a cartoon as well? How do I get that? Oh. Can I at least jump on them? Oh, well, I can... Oh, hang on. Yeah, there was a cartoon, wasn't there? I don't know. Oh, screw it. Let's go to the right. I don't know what the difference is between this and the uh, the SNES version. I'm assuming it's a sound thing, because, you know... Oh, right, and then the SNES is more powerful, but graphically, this is just absolutely spot on. Oh, hang on. Can I get up there? Come on. Oh yeah, this way. Oh nice. Hey! You cheeky little bastard. Right, so I'm just gonna stand still for a second. Do you do anything? Come on Jim, work it baby. Nice, sorry. I'll get to the, uh, the point now. Oh! Sorry, I've just gone all quiet. I'm just taking it in. It's pretty much the most impressive Mega Drive game I've played in a long time. Yes, off. Equal rights for worms. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I 
this and that. I should probably be a little bit more fru oh bollocks to me frugal, I was gonna say a bit more frugal with my ammunition, but come on. Thank you. That's a little bit morbid. Did you oh this doesn't bode well. Stop scratching your ass, you dirty bastard. You know what? There's something very Rocco's modern life about this as well, I, I do have to say. These freaky dog bastards are out. Yeah. Frisky as hell. Can I go this way? Oh, that works. Oh, yeah. Two tickets to the gun show. Oh, my... Oh, come on. Shit. Alright, one more go. Just fucking run, Forrest. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, look at me dealing death. How do I get that? It's next to life, I'm assuming. Nice. That's a really, oh sweet, really cool game mate. gameplay mechanic. Although it does beg the question, what would I do if I was uh, out of bullets? Piss off. Shit. Oh, cheeky. Can I, no I can't go any higher. How do I get those things then? I don't know. Like that! Warning, boss? Oh fuck. Nice. I have no idea if I'm doing any damage. All right, I'm going to call it quits there. I have to say, I mean, I know it's kind of late in the Mega Drive or Genesis, uh, you know, life cycle. But that was a very, very impressive game. I think at the time they kind of heralded it, didn't they? As sort of a, one of the biggest Mega Drive cartridges ever. What was it, 24 meg? Uh, to put that into perspective, uh, what is Street Fighter 2? The new challenges is like 40 meg. And Pierre Solar, which obviously isn't even official, is I don't know, 65. But that was a pretty big cartridge. Graphically, oh my god, that was so impressive. That was really really impressive. The, the the way I would describe its visuals, you know, warped, it's kind of like Moco, Moco? Rocco's Modern Life meets a sort of kidified version of Monty Python, you know, there was real, real humour, you know, definitely the people who made it were having a laugh and uh, aiming slightly above, you know, the, the, the younger sort of child audience. Controls were really, really tight, like proper ninja tight. I struggle with them because that's why, well, that's because I was playing it on this. I can't get my GameCube pad to work on my Wii when it comes to emulating Mega Drive. Sound effects, brilliant. And even though you didn't see it in that clip, if you just, uh, you know, the sense of humor was fantastic. If you just stopped and let, you know, Jim do stuff, he's like, you know, two tickets to the gun show, his pants would fall down, he'd start singing, he'd shoot himself in the face. You know, there was not forced humor, but just genuine, proper, funny moments in that game. Some of the enemies are a little bit annoying, especially those dog things. Uh, did like the, uh, the the modable paths through the level? That was that was kind of really really cool. You know, it was a platformer. I get, you know, is it before Sonic Three or after? I can't remember, but it did offer you modable routes for a level. And I do like stuff like that. It means there is replay value. But yeah, and the the music, the music was epic. I'd like to know what it sounds like on the SNES, but it was absolutely fantastic on the Mega Drive. Very very good game. Um, I am trying to buy one. I did actually try and buy one because. While that is my first playthrough, I shot that a few weeks back and I ordered a copy off eBay, but I know, I know, I'm as surprised as you. eBay screwed me over again. 
anyway, yeah, I was so genuinely impressed with that game that I've actually broken my Mega Drive collecting rule and I've ordered a copy, or I should say we'll reorder it because I don't think I'm getting that one. Anyway, great choice, mate, great choice. People, please, please, please go and check out the game man Dan. As I said, he is my channel list, and I will put a link in the doohickey down below. If you just want to watch a channel that, you know, just community-driven and a proper, proper good laugh, yeah, go and check out his channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.